I'm a very guilty Shane McGowey. And I'm David Keener, hoping not to be in last place. <laughs> and this is the Hourlings Podcast Project. Uh, today, uh, this is going to be published uh, at the end of the year, Christmas Eve. And New Year's Eve. No, this is Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve? Yeah, this is Christmas Eve. So I have a whole another week to accomplish these goals. That's right. All right, great. <laughs> well, no, not really. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Anyways, this will be released on Christmas Eve, and it's our year-end goals and review. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around the room. We're going to talk about what our goals were that we set the 1st of January this year, and we're going to see how uh, how we did. Who wants to go first? I nominate Marty. Oh, no, All right, I'll go, first. I'll go first. <laughs> I, uh, this time last year, uh, had a lot of hubris, it seems. And uh, uh, my goals were as follows. Publish four novels. Um, do two writer's retreats. Write five short stories. Um, do four book signings. And produce two audiobooks and uh, lose at least 30 pounds. Those are my goals for last year. So we'll go over these one at a time. <laughs> the big ones were publishing four novels. I actually published two novels this year, but I do have two more novels that have completed first drafts. I actually have uh, a full verbose outline for a fifth novel also uh, that I did not uh, uh, get to start yet. I only went on one writer's retreat this year instead of two, and um, I really missed it. I had grand plans for it. We can talk about that later. Uh, after everybody gives their goal status, we'll have a round of excuses. That should be fun. So, um, uh, so I only had one writer's retreat instead of two. Um, uh, for, I did write five, five short stories. I actually think I wrote six short stories. Um, I did produce two audiobooks. Um, I did lose 30 pounds this year. And I wanted to do four book signings, and I only did two. Um, so that's... Uh, in addition to that, I had the general goal of continuing the podcast, and that has happened. Um, we've cranked out another, this will be 52 episodes, and um, we haven't missed a week. So uh, that's the quick overview of uh, my goals and my status from last year. I uh, um, uh, was very ambitious. Two, two novels is pretty good still. And uh, I'll just, uh, we'll come back with excuses later because I got some doozies. So who's next? All I got to say, Marty, is next year we we're going to handicap you. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with that? Like like boy, what, what's that. wrong with that, gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> I do pretty well. All right, Jay, you go next. Okay. Um, no, I'm saying I do pretty well handicapped. Ah. Not, uh, not that I did pretty okay, well. I didn't list. mean it that way. I meant like in a bowling league. I, I know it, but I, I, I one up you. Um, <laughs> okay, but I will go next. Um, you know, I, I did so so. I, I had my goals for 2022 were to publish the hockey book, uh, self publish Overboard, one of my fantasy novels, and polish and submit to my agent uh, another fiction manuscript. Uh, personal goals were to reduce my screen time, especially at night, and uh, and I guess that was that was it. I have a lot more personal goals this year, <laughs> but anyway. So for one by one, hockey book I did complete. That's out. Um, it's published, uh, or it will be published by the time this this episode is out. So go check oh, it out. What's it called? 
Rocky's Hidden Gods. Thank you, David. <laughs> go Is go nonfiction. Nonfiction, and it's inspiring, and it's a great gift. In case you forgot anyone, you know, there's still time. Amazon, you can get it there a couple of days after Christmas. Um, so that's out, and that's great. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, Overboard is not published, but it has a cover, which it didn't have last time we spoke. Um, it has it has a, a team behind it that is going to help me do the interior and get it out there. And it has a, uh, a tentative release date. So um, I'm happy with the progress. Not wasn't out this year, but it looks like by the first quarter of next year, uh, which is great. Um, I did not submit a, a fiction manuscript to my agent for traditional publication, but we did have a meeting about it. So we have been talking about what the trends are in the, in the market right now, what she thinks she can sell. Um, and we have a plan for that too. We're going to touch base uh, in January with one of my manuscripts to see uh, see if it's if, if it's in good shape to be submitted. So progress there, but you know, no cigar, no real thing. Reduce screen time. I think I've done that. I mean, I haven't like won any awards for that, but uh, my screen time was really bad last year, and I think I've gotten better at like just sitting by the fire and eating Pringles <laughs> instead of you know <laughs> scrolling constantly. So uh, and doing little projects and stuff. So I'm still a night owl, but I've replaced the activities with um, you know things that are maybe a little bit healthier than just constantly um, browsing the internet. So. I could still do better on everything, but you know, all in all, pretty good. I'll have more to say when the excuses come about, but that's uh, that's my list. On to Dave. All right, well, I'm a mixed bag. Uh, so I'll, I'll go over what my goals were. One was to complete a novel. Uh, second was um, as an anthology editor to publish two anthologies this year. Uh, as a contributor to anthologies, I wanted uh, stories to be in three uh, anthologies. And I wanted to write um, six novelettes or novella-length works. So, how did I do? Uh, Zippo on the novel. Uh, never managed to get to it. Uh, anthologies as editor. Uh, Fantastic Detectives is going to pre-order uh, here in December for a February publication. Uh, the other project actually started before Fantastic De Detectives. Uh, the project kind of fell apart on me, ran smack dab, dab, smack dab into the other anthology project and got put on hiatus. So it's gonna come back next year and, and be published. Uh, for anthology uh, publications, uh, I wanted to be in three anthologies uh, I have been uh, accepted and scheduled for publication in five. I've been uh, wow. published in one so far this year. Uh, so the others will be uh, published uh, next year. I'm not completely in control of the anthology publication schedules. Uh, for novellas, uh, novelettes and novellas, I wanted to do six. Uh, I got two actually published, uh, but my total for the year, uh, and this is a little bit mixed up, short stories and novelettes and novellas, I finished eight works, uh, which is the most I've ever uh, completed in the year, the most I've written in the year, uh, and the most anthology appearances I've you know, had or, or secured uh, in a year. So if we're talking about published works, I met three out of 13 goals for 23%. Uh, if, we're, if we're talking accepted or published, uh, then it rises to uh, 8 out of 13 goals. Um, so more respectable, 62%. Uh, and if we're talking accepted, published, or submitted for publication, then it turns into 10 uh, for 77%. Uh, percent. Um, so it's kind, of a, it's kind of a mixed bag. Uh, hardcore, I don't have a lot of new stuff uh, in print but I got a lot of work um, completed uh, and that's going to pay off for me next year. Look at Dave employing statistics to his advantage. It's what I do. I'm a numbers guy in my day. <laughs> uh, I think I had one other goal, which is uh, six pack abs. Yeah, right. That didn't happen in my spare time. This is my shock face. 
Maybe I'm retired. Maybe when I'm retired uh, from my day job, uh, maybe. But then again, I like food too much. So, yeah. All right. All right. So this brings us to um, what do you guys attribute? Um, what things impacted you the most to get in the way of writing this year? Um, I think that COVID has uh, wound down and been less of an impact. For, I can't uh, use that anymore. <laughs> can't use that as an excuse anymore. Um, even for book signings, had had a couple really good book signings this year, um, uh, based on uh, uh, the world opening back up. So that's that's uh, hopeful. Um, so, what got in the way of you guys writing? Yeah, I can start this time. Okay. So, um, excuses time. You know, my excuses are actually positive. So I didn't meet all my writing goals, but I made a lot of significant advances in my life uh, this year. Um, starting in, I'll try to, I'll try to go chronologically. Uh, in January, I was able to meet one of my longtime friends. Um, I've known him for over five years, and we never met in person. He's my flute maker, so he hand carves flute for me that I can, I can play. Um, you know, with my, with my disease, I have a difficult time with uh, flutes, but he's able to make them that are playable for me. And so we've been very close friends for many years and um, I was delighted to finally meet him in person, took a trip down to Florida in January. Um, and then I, uh, I had school. I'm a, I'm a double master's student. So I did, um, I did, I, I'm already, a, I was already a master's student in history, but I added um, foreign service to my, uh, to my, education. So that's two masters I'm pursuing. Um, I harvested honey for the first time and won first place at the county fair. That was a really big deal. Uh, I went to Europe and took my service dog to Europe, something I was on my bucket list forever and promised him I would do. So I have pictures of him, you know, on the plane with the stewardess and all that stuff. Um, Pierre, I, Pierre travels to Paris with his uh, favorite human. Yeah, exactly. Yes. He had a great time. He did great. I was so proud of him. Um, so that, uh, I joined the Coast Guard. I, gosh, I'm doing, right now I'm doing Santa letters. So, um, it's been, it's been a lot. It's been a lot of good things. Uh, and so I'm, I'm just pointing to my writing, you know, how much I was able to accomplish, but I'm not, um, I, I don't think 2022 was a, a, a failed year. I uh, definitely made advances, and I've still published a book. So this is still a year where a book came out. And any year when a, any year where a book comes out is a good year uh, for a writer. I did lots of uh, some with Marty. I did lots of book signings. Um, made good profit there and got the word out, which is great. Uh, I think I'm on a pretty good track. So I'm not I'm not too upset with myself. So Dave, what about you? Uh, for me. Um... The day job definitely got in the way. <laughs> um, it also doesn't help that uh, um, there's two things I like to do. One is the writing and one is doing the anthologies. Um, and with two anthologies uh, impacting each other, uh, the business side of things definitely definitely got in the way a bit more than uh, I expected. So that is a, that is a self-created problem. The moral to this story is only, only ever have one anthology in motion at a time. Right. And, and don't even start an anthology project until you have a cover in advance, because, you know, there's just too much mayhem possible otherwise. Yeah. So, um, on the other hand, once these anthologies are out, I think uh, I and my co-editor will have enough street cred to uh, uh, reasonably do a Kickstarter and see if we can raise some funding for an anthology, which I think would be a better pro approach than the the self-funded method we have going on right now. Um, other than that, I'm, you know, I, I didn't meet my goals the way I wanted to, but I'm, I'm set up pretty well for next year. And I was more productive this year than I've ever been before. Um, so I'm not, I'm not unhappy. I'm also, I also, I didn't mention this earlier. Uh, I've made, uh, this is my second best year ever um, in terms of, uh, of sales. 
So I feel like coming off the pandemic, that's a pretty good result as well. Um, and interesting enough, I was trying to figure out was, is it any one particular book that's selling particularly well or that's, that's you know, but it's not, it's, you know, I go to different events and stuff and different books sell online or yeah. at different events or whatever. There's no, there's no one story that sticks out and outsells mm -hmm. everything else. It's very strange. Yeah, I think there's like that too, but at signings and stuff where like, I won't sell any of one copy of a, of a particular book and sell millions of the other. And then totally different, totally opposite results at other signings. So I totally relate. Yeah, it's like sometimes you tap into an audience that's like, you know, wherever you are, this audience likes this style of story and you sell a bunch of copies. And then you go to another event and it's like that, that, that book doesn't move at all. Or it's the subconscious people see people buying that copy. And so they think, oh, this must be the copy to buy. Oh, the, yeah. there's a marketing tactic. I, sh I should hire some people to be fake buyers. Yes. To, like prime the pump. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Nice. <laughs> it could work. Marty, back to you. Uh, actually, back that's why me. they, uh, that, that, hold on, that's why they put money in tip jars when you're at a restaurant. Oh. Uh, you can't put an empty jar there. You have to put a jar that already has money in it. Really? So I'd be more inclined to, to drop something in an empty jar. I'd feel bad. The sympathy no, no, factor. you have to, you, literally, it's a marketing yeah, thing. You have to prime it. Huh. Yeah, prime it. Interesting. Okay, so that goes to me. Well, to be honest, um, for me personally, it was a super crappy year. I actually um, lost two people that I love to cancer this year. And both of those times were huge kicks in the gut and they were total monkey wrenches in my writing practice. Mm -hmm. um, that's the, the reason why I missed my second um, uh, writer's retreat. Um, it um, literally distracted me and I didn't write at all for about three months. And uh, that impacted me more than anything. And uh, I'm, you know, getting past it now. I'm getting back in the groove. Uh, so next year, I'll, I should be able to hit the ground running to actually get back on the stick and get, um, get back to work. And uh, it's, it's really interesting how, you know, I always... Um, I always told myself, oh, it's just all about discipline. And, you know, you just get up whether you feel like it or not and uh, sit down at your computer and, you know, you drink coffee and you make stuff up. And I never really could uh, understand people when they were uh, distracted by things that would, uh, you know, be enough inertia to overcome any kind of discipline that you had. But it happened to me this year. Hmm. And, uh I'm getting past it, and uh, one of the things that helped me get past it, I actually started um, uh, doing more camping this year, of all things. To get over it, I started solo camping once a month for three days a month I go camping. And I have uh, uh, really super enjoyed the solitary uh, pleasure of going camping by myself. And it gives my wife a break, gets me out of the house. Hey, Marty, you should blog about that. <laughs> yeah, I started a little uh, YouTube channel uh, that uh, it's called Old Guy Camping Adventures. And that's like ridiculous fun, too. And um, so combined with the fact I started getting uh, back into shape, uh, I got um, a really nice e-bike, if you know what those things are. I, I enjoy riding those big time and uh, going camping, but uh, that is uh, uh, what got in my way this year. I got in my own way, actually. So hopefully that's, I won't have a repeat of that next year. It seems like every five years I have a bad year. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess I'm good until um, 27. <laughs> Don't jinx yourself, man. Yeah, I know. I uh, uh, definitely do not want to jinx myself. So, but, uh, you know, it's all about discipline. It's all about, you know, getting back on the stick, enjoying it as you're writing it. And I'm already lining up my uh, spring writer's retreat 
and my fall writers retreat this year. And um, so that should be great. And uh, uh, I'm going to go harder at my goals this year. I got them written down on a post-it that's on my refrigerator, kind of uh, <laughs> more serious about it. Because if you see it every day, you know, you make a little effort to, to row in that direction every day. So I don't know. It just make me feel guilty. Hey, if, if, it, the guilt. if guilt works That's right. for you, hmm. but if you make a little effort in that direction and you feel good about it, people like to feel good. So you'll keep doing it. So that's my story. I, I tend to track my word count. So I, I feel I feel guilty on a day when I don't get any words in. Oh, my word count this year was really good. I was over half a million words this year. It kind of counting all four of the novels that I that I wrote. And now you understand, dear viewers, why we need to give him a handicap so we can keep up with him. Yeah, well, next year I'll only type with one hand. <laughs> I'm not sure that's enough of a handicap. But <laughs> hey. I didn't say all those words were good. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's the story. So that's the roundup for this year. Episode next week is going to be the goals for next year. That'll even be more fun. So any last words, guys, on 2022? Um, just gratitude. You know, we should be, we should be grateful um, for every year we get to have on this earth, right? To continue pursuing things we want to pursue and loving people we want to love and just gratitude for 2022. Yeah, it's always, it's always a good year when you, when you can finish some works that you actually uh, think are pretty good. So. I'm just glad 2022 is over. I just got to say. I can see that. <laughs> I, uh, I don't, I, I didn't like it. <laughs> One star would not recommend. <clears throat> That's it. Anyway, that's good for today. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.